Hello and welcome to Akshu's Kitchen. Today we will see how to prepare vermicelli kheer or payasam for which we will need the following ingredients. 1 cup of roasted vermicelli. If you have got just the plain vermicelli, just dry roast it in a pan without any oil. And half cup of sago. 1 cup of sugar. 500 ml of milk. Some chopped cashew nuts and almonds and 1 tablespoon of ghee that is clarified butter. If you don't have ghee, you can use the regular unsalted butter. Some raisins, 3 to 4 whole green cardamoms and a pinch of saffron. First, I am going to add the sago in a pan of boiling water and I am going to cook it for about 5 to 10 minutes until it is half done. So after 10 minutes, it is almost half done. At this stage, I am going to add the roasted vermicelli so that both gets cooked evenly. Sago takes more time to cook than the vermicelli. That's the reason I have added it first. Again, close it with the lid and cook for a further 5 minutes. Meanwhile, grind the cardamom seeds and the pinch of saffron into a fine powder using 2 tablespoons of sugar from the 1 cup of sugar that we are using and keep it ready. Now the vermicelli has absorbed the water well and they are cooked well. Add the 500 ml of milk at this stage and allow it to come to a boil. Meanwhile heat the 1 tablespoon of ghee or butter in a pan separately. And I am going to fry the chopped cashew nuts and almonds in the ghee. When they are in a light golden color, we are going to add the raisins. If we add the raisins at the earlier stage along with the cashew nuts, it will get burnt because cashews take more time than the raisins. Meanwhile, I have added the sugar to the milk mix. We are going to add the ghee and the cashew nuts only at the final stage. So we have to keep the kheer ready. Then only we will add the cashew nuts. Now at the final stage, the raisins, because the cashews are in light golden color now, it is the right time to add the raisins. And you can see the raisins has puffed up. So I am going to add this along with the ghee. Be careful because when you add hot ghee in boiling milk, it will raise up. So add little by little. And then mix it thoroughly, stirring it occasionally. And Vermicelli kheer or payasam is ready. It is a traditional South Indian dessert or sweet. Serve in a warm temperature. You can also serve it a bit cold. Try it and you will really like it. Thank you for watching Akshu's Kitchen.